both of those patterns. So now what are we maybe looking for? It's just sort of experiment. Let's look at this retracement. Wow, look at that. Market came right into the 1.272. So we had a tunnel pattern here plus the Fibonacci, both pointing to the same area. That's when we can go and look, does the market give us a pattern? This time it didn't. This is very rare that the market doesn't give you any kind of pattern. It just reverses in thin air. Okay, sorry about that. My wife was showing somebody our new house. <laughs> um, so you, ha you didn't have, you had a, a, what I call a theoretical pattern, which means it's based purely on uh, ratio. Fibonacci ratio and then price ratio. There wasn't a, a pattern like a, a flag or uh, there wasn't a pattern like, you know, a pennant. But that doesn't mean you can't trade it, okay? It's just to give you some examples of what I'm looking for. So I want to watch for, for flags and, and, uh, and tunnels and, and all this other stuff. I want to keep an eye on uh, the, the overall pattern. In fact, here's something that just jumped out at me. I want to keep my eye on, uh, let's see where this one ends. Ah, look at that, right about the same price. Uh, you know, lots, this is what I call the harmony of the market. There's a lot of harmony here. Uh, so now that the market is retraced here, I'll go ahead and look at this. So if this tunnel pattern plays out, wow, look at that. All the way up, it's suggesting 96.87. So there we go. Um, that's the analysis in a nutshell. Um, if the market were making this type of pattern here, what I would want to do is, is give notes to myself. Uh, you know, trading, watch the breakout for the trading lane. Uh, you know, all of that. Because it's going to help me to be prepared for price when it gets to the point. Right now I've got 94.34 as my key area and I'll just have to address what happens when the market opens. Remember, nothing in life is set in stone. You, when you wake up tomorrow, my friend, I guarantee you that you have no idea what's going to come at you. I mean, God forbid that something tragic happens. Uh, uh, God willing, something fantastic happens, but you don't know. Uh, you know, when I when I got recently ill, I didn't know I was going to wake up one day and my kidneys weren't going to work right. No more than I was going to wake up one day and I was going to be a daddy. You just you don't know what's going to happen. Okay, so the market is the exact same way. Stop thinking you need to have everything in the future set in stone because nothing in life is set in stone. When we set foot uh, for crying out loud in the bathtub, you know, in America at least, one of the leading uh, killers is the bathroom for crying out loud. So remember, keep your plan in mind. Write it down. I mean, you saw this. Even with all of my comments, everything in, in my instruction, we're at 37 minutes. 37 minutes a day or less is what you can expect to spend, and, and far, far less. In fact, when I'm going through this stuff, I mean, I am just flying through it. It, it takes me five, ten minutes at the most to analyze this. That's why when I was an equities trader, when I traded stocks for a living and options for a living, I traded 90 different symbols. And that is because I had a plan. I knew if I was going to trade IBM, I had a specific price. And I would set alerts and alarms in my software so I wasn't even looking at IBM until it got near that price. And then I would look at it, I would go to my notes, I would see what I was thinking, I would make a quick assessment, 5-10 minutes, and boom, I could be ready for a trade. And I'm telling you, it is, it is that simple. You've just got to be able to be open to what's going to happen in the market. Remember, anything can happen, anything will happen, you just have to be ready for what you are going to do next. And I promise you, trading will take on a whole new life, it'll take on a whole new ease and comfort, and you'll probably be shocked with how much money you start to make. Remember, the key is staying disciplined. The key is taking uh, very small risks in the marketplace. Don't go crazy with your money management. Make sure that you're not trading 5, 10, 15, 20, 100 times, 200 times your available equity. Stay conservative. Get this stuff down. Make sure you know it. And then you can slowly build up your capital. And then you can really start trading the big bucks. I'm telling you, inside of a year or two, you can quite legitimately 
and realistically be making the kind of money that doctors, lawyers do after 15, 20, 30 years in the business. But you've got to take the steps now. No surgeon who's making a million and a half dollars a year because he's cutting people open or fixing their knees or fixing their hearts or fixing their brains started out that way. That doctor was once a pimply-faced medical student who didn't know jack squat about the human body and they had to learn to trial and error. They probably the Patients probably died. They probably made horrific mistakes, but they kept going. The same is true in the markets. Forgive yourself for making the mistakes let yourself be uh, free to make mistakes and just know and trust in the process. I, I promise you, my friends, it will be worth it in the end, but you just have to take a breath and let the process happen. Okay, enough of that. I'll go on, on and on about that uh, for another hour if you let me. I'm, I'm going to pause this, take a drink of water, uh, stretch my legs a little bit, and then I'm going to wrap this up. 